is why some call it major laser, 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 laser. First, we're gonna start to moisturize the face. Here I'm using the Fruit of the Earth Skin Care Cream to moisturize. And now I'm just gonna be doing my brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pearl Made in Chocolate along with a small angled stiff brush to outline my brows. And then first I'm gonna outline the bottom and then I'm gonna fill in the tail of my brow. As you guys can see and then I'm going in on the top of my brows to fill that in as well I'm gonna just keep filling in the tail of my brow and then I'm going in in the beginning to kind of smoothen that out I don't want it to have any huge, any, I'm sorry, any harsh lines, so I made sure that I lightly brush it in upward strokes in the beginning. And then I'm just going ahead and I'm doing the same thing with my other brow. This pomade's waterproof. It's very, very, very pigmented, so you only need a little bit to fill in your brows. You don't want to put in too much. And just lightly fill it in. And now I'm using Toffee and Cool Tan in the LA Girl Concealers using a e.l.f. concealer brush to outline the bottom of my brow first. And I'm, as you can see, I'm not starting in the beginning. I'm starting a little bit away from it because I want that like line to smoothen out. And I don't want it to give me like a box shape brow. Y'all know I hate box shape brows. It's a turn off. It's kind of scary looking, actually. So I'm just going to be going in and blending that out. I'm going ahead and doing the same thing with the other brow. And then I'm just blending it out. This is probably going to be the last time I'm going to do my brows in a full makeup video. I'm just going to do one updated eyebrow tutorial and then that's it. If y'all want to see how I do my brows, y'all go gotta watch that video because I ain't doing it no more. <laughs> I'm going to start my videos with my brows already filled in. And then I'm just going in the top to kind of clean up that area. lightly with a little bit of concealer not too much and now I'm using a green corrector from my red spots now the LA girl correctors are pretty good I know the orange one is for dark spots I don't have that one so I'm using what I have I have the green one and I have a lot of red spots so I'm just going in and I'm using this to balance out my redness I got a lot of redness around my nose area, as y'all could see. And then some pimples on my face are pretty red, so I gotta cover those too. <laughs> and on the corners of my eyes as well. So I'm using the same mixture of the concealer that I used before to highlight my under eye area, the top of my lip, the middle of my forehead and my nose 
And all the little spots on my face that I should have used the orange corrector for, I'm going to use this for. <laughs> and you want to use the concealer to cover the corrector as well. And you just want to use a damp beauty blender to do that. It's actually water in my MAC Fix Plus bottle. And it works perfectly fine to me, so... After you're finished blending out your highlight, you're just going in with a contour using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Chestnut. And you want to contour your cheekbones. Blend out the contour on your cheekbones before you go and contour anything else. I find that this is a very good way to shape your face, to understand what you need to sculpt, and how the finished look will will be if you do this in these steps it works for me so hopefully it works for you guys but if you guys have a different routine to highlight and contour that you find even easier and cheaper then let me know in the comments below because i'm always looking for ways to highlight and contour in an affordable way and i'm just putting in a little bit more of the chestnut in my cheekbone because I want it to be a little bit more defined and you know, as you can see I'm dragging the contour up to outline I want to say outline or define my cheeks because I'm not going to be putting on a lot of blush today this is a very this is a very skinified look so it's all about your skin and not too much about the makeup itself And I have this trick where I put the contour concealer on top of my eyelids to contour my eyes instead of putting eyeshadow on there when you're going for a very natural, simple, everyday makeup look. This is a great way to do this without putting eyeshadow on. And then I'm just using the same concealer in Chestnut to contour my forehead and then I'm going to be contouring my nose. As you can see, I'm when I put the concealer on my face, wherever I'm putting it, I blend it out right away because it makes it fresher. It makes the contour fresher and it doesn't sink in your pore. So now I'm just doing the same thing to my nose and I'm trying to slim down my nose, although it's already pretty slim. And then I'm doing my the top of my lip and the bottom of my lip it gives your lip a very like fuller I want to say effect and then now I'm just doing underneath my ch my chin I guess underneath my face <laughs> I don't know <laughs> this defines your face <laughs> And now I'm using LA Pro Conceal in Warm Honey or you can use the same mixture to clean up your contour. As you can see, I'm just drawing a line right underneath my cheekbone and I'm dragging it down and now I'm just blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Hey, hey, hey. So now you guys see that harsh line that it's creating between the contour and the underneath highlighter? I hate it. So basically what I do after I'm finished blending, hold on, you'll see. I add a little bit more of chestnut. <laughs> And I just use that to finish contouring my cheekbone, but I want to blend it out a little bit more so it won't have any harsh lines on my face. And stuff like that show in flash cameras. So like when you take a picture and 
you take it with the flash, it shows and it looks real bad. So you want to make sure you blend everything out completely. Now I'm just adding a little bit more of the chestnut on my forehead. And now I'm using the same concealer that I used to clean up my contour on my nose. I find that this is a little bit lighter than the mixture that I did before. So this would be a better way of, I guess, highlighting my nose. Now I'm using the Neutrogena Mineral Shares Powder Foundation in Honey Beige using a Real Techniques blush brush to set my highlight instead of using banana powder because this is way more affordable. And I actually like the way that this powder foundation sets um, with the highlighters or not even the highlighters, but the concealers, I'm sorry, that I use to highlight and contour my face. And I'm just putting it onto all the highlighted areas. Now I'm using NARS Orgasm Blush using a multitask brush from Real Techniques. You can find this brush or all these brushes from Walmart. I pretty much got them at Walmart. And I'm just lightly sweeping the brush on my face. I don't really want that much blush. I want this to stay very simple and very nude and neutral and very barely. Barely. I don't really want any, any on my face. So now I'm using the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner and a eyeliner brush from e.l.f. to draw a very thin line on top of my eyes to line my eyes. As you guys can see, I'm not using a cat eye today. This is very simple, so I want to keep it very, very simple. For those who especially don't even know how to do cat eyes, this is an easy, easy, easy way of defining your eyes without doing too much. And then I'm just using the same eyeliner with the same brush on the bottom to line the bottom of my eyes as well. And I'm just kind of blending that out. And this is also a very good trick that I uh, found. You can use the same e.l.f. cream liner to define your brows. Give it like a gradient look. So now I'm using Maybelline Lots of Lashes Mascara to mascara my brows. I mean my lashes. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm using that on the top and the bottom. And now I'm using Fair and White Lip and Eye Pencil in brown. It's dark brown, I believe, to align my lips. And I'll be using Fair and White Lip Gloss as well in gorgeous. I love the name of it because it actually makes me feel gorgeous. So it didn't last, but um, yeah, so this is the finished look. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. My Instagram name is Chris Art if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram. And leave me any comments or, you know, questions that you guys have in the comments below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys love you